Greetings viewers. We have a very nice, very inexpensive pen here today from Pen BBS. This is the model 494. It is a $4 piston filling pen from Pen BBS. It is styled very much like a Pilot 78G. Clip is different. It is a little bit longer. Um, but as we'll see when we get to the business end of it, it is very much like a Pilot 78G. The, the, the general styling uh, on the caps is pretty much the same, uh, uh, etc. Again, it's a little bit longer. This is a cartridge converter pen. This is a piston fill pen. But you'll see there's a lot of a lot of similarities between the Pilot 78G and uh, this uh, Pen BBS 494. So let's get some size comparisons in place. So here it is compared to the Pilot 78G. Here it is compared to a Pilot Metropolitan. And here it is compared to a Lamy Safari. So you can see uh, it is the only piston filled pen of this bunch and it is a bit longer than any of them. It is an extraordinarily light pen. It only weighs eight grams. Um, it does not have any branding or cap ring or anything uh, like that. The clip is somewhat of a sort of a, I guess we'll call it like a low rent version of the uh, sword style clip that's used on some of the higher end pin BBS pens like this model 456. So here's a pen BBS 456 and here is the um, 494 and as you can see it's somewhat evocative of the same style it's not nearly as heavy from a, uh, the metal is not nearly as thick and heavy but it is a functional clip that works just fine um, it terminates in a screw off finial on the on the uh, on the top of the cap with a, um, a clip band to hold the clip on it is a screw to uncap pen. It does take two and three quarter turns to unscrew it, and it does post. Post actually nice and solid, and it's such a feather like pen, there's really no reason uh, um, not to post it. If you really don't want to post it, I guess you can get away with it, but for crying out loud, the pen's got like no weight. There's really no reason not to po not to not to post this uh, this pen. The nib. Uh, let's talk about the nib now. I'm going to pull out the Pilot 78G again and compare the nibs. The nibs are very, very uh, similar uh, in general shape, etc. Um, here's a side view, and I believe these nibs should be compatible if you uh, so uh, if you so choose to swap them around. Um, they'd also be compatible with a Wingsung knockoff of the Pilot 78G. This is the Wingsung 9159. It is also, as you can see, very much a Pilot 78G uh, knockoff pen. And again, the nibs on this pen should be uh, compatible as well. Um, and again, this is a, these both are cartridge converter pens, and this is a piston filler, which we'll get to in a minute. On the nib, it says for some reason Marshmallow Shanghai and then an F for fine. I do not know why it says that. The feed is a nice feed. It's a clear feed so you'll pick up um, uh, the ink color there which is nice. The barrel and the section are one piece. So this, this o-ring here is not to seal the barrel and the section. It is to seal the cap. Which is which is which is interesting. Um, it has a nice working, smooth running piston fill mechanism with a double seal piston. Um, the in terms of disassembly, it is very simple. So this cap pops off at the end um, to reveal this silver ring here. Tempted as you might be to put some any some sort of a tool on that. Uh, ring. Do not even think about it. There's no flat edge to grab onto anyway. But what you can do is grip it nicely with your fingers and unscrew and it will come off and you can remove the entire piston mechanism. So while, while we have this out, we will apply a little silicone grease. So we're going to put silicone grease on the piston itself. We will put silicone grease on these, uh, on this threads of this shaft right here. And we will put silicone grease 
on the threads of this um, of this silver ring and um, the whole thing should easily go back together and be able to be hand tightened and then you see there's the piston mechanism just working fine and we can replace this cap which snaps on so there we go we've now totally disassembled our and reassembled our piston filling mechanism so this pen is very easy to service as well as um, operate etc oh and of course the nib and feed just pull right out easily enough um, so what do we want to ink this pen up with um, considering it's kind of looks like a pilot pen I'm just gonna ink it up with pilot blue so obviously you want to see it right you're gonna get what you want right now okay folks what we're writing with here is a pen BBS model 494 and this has a fine steel nib and um, this writes quite well so it's smooth actually I'd, I'd even I'd even say very smooth um, and it's it's definitely a fine bordering on extra fine so it's definitely like sort of an Asian um, style fine but it is quite comfortable to hold they're actually tiny very imperceptible facets on either side of the section for hold it but they're almost imperceptibly there but they definitely are facets there um, now that I've inked it up you could see it looks really nice the transparent feed um, really looks nice uh, with the with the ink which um, you know is, is really nice it fills nicely holds quite a bit of ink um, and writes really quite uh, well um, I would say it's about average when it comes to wetness um, but um, definitely a smooth smooth writing pen and a quite pleasurable writing experience all in all um, uh, and I, I do like it and like I said for a four dollar piston fill pen from pen BBS you cannot go wrong you also like I said have the benefit of nib compatibility with both uh, pilot 78 G so if you want like if you like the nib on a pilot if let's say you have a pilot 78 G you like the nib maybe not crazy about cartridge converter etc you can swap nibs etc or maybe you like this nib better etc it's nice and then you also can swap nibs with the wing sung uh, 9159 which is also a very very inexpensive say two dollar ish pen the 70 g is not uh, a cheap pen i think they go for nearly 20 bucks now but again great great pilot pen we'll do that in a, in a subsequent episode but again a really really nice very very inexpensive pen from pen bbs and this one is definitely definitely a winner um really 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 nice pen um so i think that'll do it for the pen let's just talk a tiny bit about this ink so this is a sort of a classic this is pilot blue um you know this is this is just a great great standard blue ink i talk about this in my um blue ink uh standard basic blue ink episode from a few months ago so you can go back and look at that. I also talk about this ink in the review of the Pilot Custom A23, and that's actually where I got this bottle of Pilot Blue. So this large pedestal-sized glass bottle came in the box with my Pilot Custom A23 that I got, a, oh, maybe only about a year and a half ago or so. So um, that's one way of getting this. You could, of course, buy this as well. So the, the standard Pilot inks don't get a ton of attention. Everyone talks about the Pilot's Orochizuku line of inks, but... Um, these are not to be trifled with. These are some really, really nice inks. They make a blue, they make a black, they make a blue black, um, etc. And they are just really nice basic inks, but really, really, really super nice. Um, that's um, what it looks like on um, on uh, this Rhodia paper. Let's take a real quick look at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. Okay, folks, as we said, this is Pilot Blue. And 
and this is on uh, Tomoe River paper. And um, again, really, really nice. You get some, you get some pretty nice shading with this, and it gets a really pretty shade of blue. Um, and again, it's just a, it's a really good, basic, well-behaved blue ink. And um, uh, one of my favorites, really, among sort of the standard uh, spectrum of uh, of uh, of blue inks that there is. Um, just a just a really, really nice, pretty ink. Um, that never gives me trouble, no matter what kind of pen I put it in. So, there we go. I think that that might just about do it for this episode. So, as always, I thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please become one. Keep those thumbs up coming and leave a comment or two. And as always, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.